Welcome to the Spring 2022 edition of Watch the E-Globe. Hello everyone. My name is David, a Spring 2022 MPP student. And I'm Mayurika, a Fall 2021 MDP student. There's quite a bit that we want to share with you today, but for those new to this program, Mayurika, could you please tell us a little bit about what Watch the E-Globe is? Sure. Started in May 2021, Watch the E-Globe shares interesting information about what's been going on at KDI School outside of the classroom. Awesome. So to start off this edition, some unique news. KDI School recently accepted two students from countries never before seen here. On behalf of KDIS, we would like to sincerely welcome Annette from Latvia and Abita from Brunei. With that, KDIS is now represented by students from over 140 different countries. I've met them both and they're both really wonderful people. KDI School did a short interview with both of them and this is what they had to share with us. Hi, Annyeonghaseyo. My name is Anette and I'm from Latvia. Latvia is one of the three Baltic countries located in Northeast Europe and we are known for being one of the greenest countries in Europe and also Latvian language is one of the oldest European languages. My first semester at KDI has been quite challenging because my educational background is in linguistics and culture, but it has also been very insightful and quite surreal. I still need to pinch myself every day to actually believe that I'm at KDI. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity and excited for what's to come. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, annyeonghaseyo. My name is Abida binti Haji Muhammad Rafi. People usually call me Abida. I am from Brunei Darussalam, which is located in Southeast Asia. My first KDI experience is exceptionally fun and quite challenging at the same time. It is fun because I get to meet a lot of people from all around the world. However, because I came here during winter season, it was quite a challenge for me to adapt to the new unfamiliar weather. But overall, no mu jawayo. Due to COVID-19 travel restrictions, KDIS was not able to hold an on-site orientation. Instead, an online version was held to provide new students with vital information about life in KDI school and in Korea. But that's enough about the start of the year. Is there anything going on now? Of course. KDIS recently held information sessions in preparation for the Fall 2022 admission. And despite the fact that they were held online, the interest was definitely there. Yes, in April, almost 300 students over three different sessions were able to interact directly with the professors and alumni of KDI School. I actually participated in one last year and it definitely helped me learn more about the school and the scholarships offered. I never knew that most students here attended through a scholarship of some kind. And with the spring 2022 recruitment period just ending, we should be seeing a bunch of new faces in this coming semester. And hopefully, KDI Scope to organize more offline activities soon. KDI School recently signed a five-year partnership with John Hawkins School of Advanced International Studies to offer a dual degree program. With this, KDI students will have the opportunity to attend John Hawkins in the United States and students from there to attend KDI School in Korea through the G20 scholarship program. That means that select KDIS students will be able to travel to a different country to experience a different culture, all the while working towards not one, but two degrees. If you have an interest, you can try applying too. The next news we have for you is about a special project in cooperation between KDIS and the Sejong City Library. This year, a total of four different special lectures will be given under topics relating to pol policy and development. This course started with a just passed Happy Economics lecture delivered by Dean Jong Il Yu on April 6, with three more lectures coming up later this year. We hope that there will be a great turnout again this time as well. It has been quite hard to conduct safe offline activities with the COVID-19 situation. However, we did have several successful spring activities this semester. Right, Mayurika? Yes, I heard that one of the first online activities was the membership training event that was held for domestic students. This term, KDIS organized two different cultural experiences for us, the mood light-making experience and the Korean pottery-making experience. The first one was held online, but despite that, it was really fun. 
With the Potter experience, participating students were shuttled to a studio on the outskirts of Dayton City in order to try our hands on molding clay to make Korean pottery. Guided by two very skilled artisans, this ended up being a very challenging yet enjoyable experience for all of us. I truly hope there are more events like this in the future. It was incredibly interesting and so much fun to do. KDIS offers a number of different clubs ranging from sports, academics, and cultural varieties. I think they're a great way to take a break from our busy lives as students. David, did you join any student clubs this semester? Yes, I'm actually part of the programming club here. The club only started very recently, but it's designed for people interested in statistical programming languages to come together, learn, and practice their skills in various activities. What about you? Are you in any clubs? Yes, I'm actually the current representative of the KDIS Zumba Club. But instead of hearing it from me, we interviewed one of our members to describe what the Zumba Club is all about. 안녕하세요. My name is Chen from Vietnam, and today I would like to introduce you about our Zumba Club. Each Friday evening, we have the Zumba section at the school, and the teams vary from South America to African and also Asian dancing move. And for me, this is an opportunity for, uh, for me to gather with other students and also connect with each other. And we totally immerse ourselves in the dancing move. And after that, we totally recharge the energy and be ready for the new studying week. So let's join with us in the next section. KDI School offers numerous opportunities for graduated students to stay connected to the school and its mission to strengthen the relationship between Korea and our alumni countries. The KDIS Alumni SDG's Working Partner Program is one such program that seeks to create a platform for KDIS alumni. This program provides financial assistance to encourage graduated students to keep working towards global development. Now, let's take a look at one of the alumni involved in this program had to say about their experience. Hi, I'm Yecha Moon. I'm studied MDP in 2020. I'm very glad to participate in the KDIS Alumni Working Partner Program. We will propose a new ODA direction to establish a sustainable health system. Alumni Working Partner Program provides an excellent environment to broaden my perspective and enhance my research capacity. That is why I applied to this program two years in a row. Of course, financial support from the school is a great benefit. Thank you. For the first time in the COVID-19 era, Dean Jong-il Liu along with several staff members visited the KDIS alumni associations in Indonesia and India during one of his business trips. The reunions with Dean Yu were held in Jakarta for the Indonesian Alumni Association and in New Delhi and Kerala for the Indian chapter. Almost 50 participants attended across these three events. In other great news, there are two new alumni associations that have been established under KDI School this year. With the addition of Botswana and Pakistan, KDI School now manages 56 official alumni associations. If you are not yet a part of your country's alumni association, you can find the contact details of the representatives by visiting the alumni website. I will definitely be joining the one in Sri Lanka once I graduate next semester. David, is there one for Canadian students yet? For Canadians, I don't think there is one just yet. You should establish one for your country once you graduate. I'm hoping to do so. So do we have any more news to share with our viewers? I think that's pretty much it for the spring edition of Watch the Eglo. However, we would like to offer a challenge for the viewers who have kept watching till the end of this video. 20 people who are able to answer three questions correctly will be randomly selected to each receive a special prize. You can see the questions on the screen and in the video description. So please leave your answers in the comments below and good luck to everyone who's participating. Thank you for joining us for the 2022 Spring Semesters Recap through Watch the E-Globe. Please stay tuned for the summer edition and we look forward to seeing you then. I've been your anchor, Mayurika Dulanjani. And I'm David Wu. Signing, Signing off. off. In other news, <laughs> David. <laughs> David. Hi, how are you? <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I just want that. Okay. I apologize. 
I apologize, I'm sorry. Oh, I need to focus, I need to calm down. Our members to describe what the Zumba Club is all about. Yay! 